Hello, and welcome to Lesson 6-7. Today we're going to look at percents and equations. You can solve a percent problem by writing and solving an equation. And the one thing that you just have to remember is whenever you do this, you have to write your percentage as a decimal. Okay, so if you're going to have to multiply or divide or anything like that, you just have to remember to write your percentage as a decimal first, do your calculation, and then possibly go back and uh, rewrite it as a percentage. So a couple quick um, hints to help you with solving percent problems. Again, our number one thing is going to be to change percents to decimals. If you see the word of, this typically means that we are going to multiply. That's kind of a key word. The word is usually means equals. And then finally, um, after solving a problem, change a decimal back to a percentage if it's needed. And we'll look at a few examples and see how this is going to work. So for example one, it says, what is 85% of 62? So because I have this keyword of of, this generally tells me that I'm going to have to multiply these two numbers together. So I'm looking for some number n. And I'm going to say that n is equal to 85%. Well, remember, we're going to write percentages as decimals. So 85% is really equal to 0.85. So I'm going to rewrite that as 0.85. The word of means to multiply. And I'm going to multiply it by 62. So then when I multiply these out, 0.85 times 62 is 52.7. So 85% of 62 is going to be 52.7. Now if you like to write this as a proportion, what you could do, remember, is you could write your 85% as 85 over 100, and we would say that this is equal to n divided by 62, and then when you cross multiplied, you end up with 100n equals 85 times 62. And when you divide it by 100, you still get that 52.7. So either way you set this up, you will get the same answer. For example two, it says what percent of 48 is 54? So what this tells me is that we are going to have to use the equal sign. So what percent of 48? So in this case, I'm going to say that n now is the percentage, and the word of means multiply. So I have n times 48 equals 54. So now what I have to do is I just have to divide both sides by 48, and I'm left with n is equal to 1.125. Now, because it does specify that it wants a percentage, that means I have to convert this number back into a percentage. So I move my decimal two places to the right, and I get n equals 112.5%. Now, again, if you like the proportion method, you can say um, what percentage. Um, so that means I'm looking for n over 100 uh, equals... And then we have 54 over 48. So when I cross multiply, I have 48n equals 54 times 100 is 5400. And when we divide, we end up with 112.5%. For example, 3, it says a real estate agent makes a 4.5% commission. Okay, and a commission just means that they get um, some extra money based on the property that, property that they sell. And that's a commission is common in sales. So the more you sell, the more you make because you get kind of like a, a certain amount of that. So it says to the nearest dollar, how much commission does she make on the sale of a house of 132500 So we're going to say that our commission is equal to... And commission is found by taking the percentage, which we have here. So I have 4.5 percentage. 
or four and a half percent, and I'm going to write that as a decimal first, so that's 0 0.045, and we take that percent and we multiply it by our, our dollar amount, which in this case is 132,500. So if you multiply that out, uh, $132,500 house, uh, this real estate agent is going to make $5,962.50 in commission. Again, if you like to see that proportion, we can say that 4.5% is 4.5 out of 100. And this is equal to the commission divided by the whole part, which is 132500 And again, you can cross multiply and solve for C. Example 4 says, uh, a singer receives a 5% royalty on each CD sale. So again, this means that they get 5% of all sales for every CD that's sold. To the nearest cent, find this royalty for a CD that sells for $16.99. So this is very similar to the commission. We're gonna take that percentage, multiply it by our dollar amount. So I'm gonna say R for royalties is equal to our 5% royalty, which is 0 0.05. And we're gonna multiply that by 16.99. And when we multiply this, we get 85 cents. So 85 cents out of every CD that sells for $16.99 is actually going back to that musician. Again, for the proportion side of things, if you like that instead, you could say 5% is really 5 over 100 equals the royalty divided by the price. And our last example for today says, in a survey, 952 people, which was 68%, preferred smooth peanut butter to chunky. How many people were surveyed? So in this case, we know that the 952 is going to be the part, um, and that's 68% of that. So if I take my 68% and I multiply it by the number of people that were surveyed, this is going to give me 952 people. So if I divide both sides by 0.68, I can see that the number of people then is going to be 1,400. Now, if you want to set this up with a proportion, again, we can do our 68% as 68 over 100 equals my part in this case is the 952, and we do not know the number of people to make up our whole. So I can go ahead and cross multiply, and I'll still get that there are 1,400 people. Please let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in class. Have a great day.